Hey everybody, this is Robert Robbins with Kerala Light Resort bringing you Golf Talk with Robert Robbins, Volume 9. Before we get too far into today's discussion, I do want to introduce our guest. Uh, the young lady you're looking at is a very dear friend of mine, Miss Judy Eccles, um, who is a past star in the Curry Tuck Cup, which is held in Kerala, North Carolina. Uh, the second guest for this discussion is Miss Meg Mallon. Uh, Miss Meg Mallon is a LPGA Tour player who has 18 LPGA Tour victories, uh, four of which were LPGA majors. Um, so at this time, I'm going to put up in the frame on the right a video of Miss Mallon. There she is. Um, I'm going to draw a line 90 degrees up from Miss Mallon's right foot, the outside part of her right foot. I'm going to do the same with Miss Judy Eccles. There we go. I'm also going to put up a line to represent spine angle. So there's Miss Mallon. And there is Miss Eccles. Uh, this week's discussion is building a golf swing from the ground up. We're going to put these two swings into motion. Pay very close attention to the amount of space that was in between the orange line and the right hip in the dress position. Um, you can notice that with Miss Judy the amount of space in between the right hip and the orange line has completely vanished and because of that uh, her spine angle has changed throughout her backswing. Um, for those of you that have been viewing Golf Talk um, since the beginning, um, you're aware that this is an issue not only with leverage in the golf swing but balance as well. We're going to let these two young ladies finish their golf swings. Uh, what I will say about Miss Judy Eccles' golf swing is that her rotation and her, her weight transfer is outstanding. You can see her hips and shoulders are fully rotated towards the target as Meg Mallins has. Uh, she's gotten her weight all the way to her lead side, and she is up on her trailing toe. We're going to take one more look at these golf swings, and this time, let's pay very close attention to the lead foot and how with Meg Mallon, uh, you'll notice that the lead foot stays on the ground, or the lead heel stays on the ground. Um, all the way to the top of the golf swing, whereas with Miss Eccles, you'll see that the lead heel is up in the air. And you see it with Miss with Miss Eccles, and you can clearly see with Meg Mallon how her lead heel is on the ground. Um, I truly believe that because of this. You know, this is a contributing factor to Miss Eccles' lower body sliding out from underneath her, hence changing her spine angle throughout her entire backswing. So there you have it for this week's discussion, building a golf swing from the ground up. Uh, if you're having trouble with your ball striking, let's pay attention to the lead foot. Um, your left heel may be coming off the ground a little too much. Um, a, you know, a little bit is acceptable, but when we get up on the 
lead toe as Miss Eccles does in the backswing. Um, again, it can result in an issue with leverage as well as balance in the golf swing. So that's all I have for you for this week. Um, if you'd like to learn more about me and my thoughts on the golf swing or how to contact me, uh, there's some more information down below beneath the video. Um, other than that, I wish you all the luck. Hit it well. See you next week.